obviously these questions are one that will confront the next president. You're a great judicious, impartial reporter, and so you're not going to give us a policy recommendation in any specific sort of way. But if you were talking to a top advisor, uh, to the person who ultimately is the next president, uh, and, and giving some sort of counsel as to what part of this story should they pay attention to, what part of this offers some wisdom to the next president and their approach to these questions, what would you say to that counselor or, or to the next president? A substantive response is, if you're going to do something and you say you're going to do something, you should do it. Like, what, and not just sort of say you'll get to it eventually, right? So a huge mistake, whether you think Obama's plan to close Gitmo was a good one or a bad one, a huge mistake he made just as a level of governance was to say he was going to close Gitmo and then not do it. And it floated out there for a year and the politics changed and, and suddenly he just couldn't do it because the pinata had been shattered. Or to say they were going to bring Khalid Sheikh Mohammed and the 9-11 guys to New York, but then not just put them on a plane and move them to New York. And then the underwear bombing happens. And if they had changed the facts on the ground by doing what they said they were going to do when they said they were going to do it, they would have been less stymied in that policy. I think, though, what you're really saying, the, the counsel you're really offering, is that arrogance is a bad idea and timidity is a bad idea.